What's up guys, it is Jack and Jeff from MachineHunter.com doing another This Is, and this is a very exciting game I've been waiting for. This is L.A. Noir. Do you think this is the game of the year? I don't know. Quite, I mean, it's, quite possibly. I mean, it's it's going to be probably the best story-driven game of the year. I would think so. Um, and God, Rockstar always puts out amazing stuff. So it, yeah. we've been looking forward to this one for a while. And um, yeah, so... Um, this as is, it, and this is a massive game. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, not only have we been looking forward to it for a while, but we're going to be playing it for like the next four months. Yeah, probably. we're pretty much going to dive headfirst in this thing. I don't think anything really comes out between now and sort of E3, right? So uh, hopefully we should have some time to kind of play around and have good times with this. But anyway, as you know, this is uh, this game takes place back in, was it the 40s or 50s, something like that? Mm -hmm. Of like the Hollywood Land era. Do you know Hollywood used to be called Hollywood? land whenever people wore fedoras <laughs> <laughs> and trench coats no did you know that do you yeah, know do you know I why did. do you know what the hollywood sign was for initially no. and it was an apartment complex or like an apartment like group called hollywood land and they put up a giant sign and then eventually they removed the land part so it just became hollywood so anyway that's that's old school fascinating that's old school california <laughs> history for you there Oh, man. But uh, anyway, all right, well, let's run through some of the achievements here. I only picked a few. Um, the, the Most of them are pretty straightforward, but uh, this one for sure, or like, uh, we'll go through a couple fun ones for you. So the first one is Asphalt Jungle, which is chase down and tackle a fleeing suspect on foot as an LAPD detective. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. I like the, uh, I like, uh, never mind. I was going to say something. Uh, were you going to say something inappropriate? No, yeah. Oh, I, we'll just move on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this, this one's pretty great here. It's keep a lid on for 15 gamer score. It's complete a brawl without losing your hat as an LAPD detective or investigator. <laughs> so you, you have to like beat the shit out of them but not lose your hat. That's that's great. Yeah. So I guess there must be uh, some hat, some hat physics in this game. Like, Dude, I hear Rockstar excels at hat physics. What, what is the friction <laughs> coefficient for your head and your hat, you think? You think so you think in like six months somebody will figure out how to turn it up to ten and <laughs> yes. they'll make a video and there's just, just like, hats flying all yeah. over the game. And <laughs> hats buzzing around. Crazy speeds. Hitting people, knocking people <laughs> over and stuff. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Not So Hasty, which is stop a fleeing suspect with a warning shot as an LAPD detective. <laughs> a warning shot. We actually haven't... Had, like, when was the last time a cop fired off a warning shot, you think? Uh, I... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I love our police do you think that, force. Do you think that's actually in, like, the, the policeman's handbook? Like, <laughs> just fire near them. Just, yeah. Just graze them a little bit. Don't actually drop them or anything. But, uh, warning shots. Man, that's something... Man, I, I, like aside from like World War II or something like that, I haven't, I haven't even thought about. Do you think there shots. were a lot of warning shots in World War II? I, I guess maybe more so than LAPD guys running around <laughs> shooting at people. I know drug dealers use those a lot. They're like, hey, hey, my territory. There's a warning shot. Boop. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. I thought don't, they don't thought, cross the street. I thought that was when they threw shoes up on the power lines. Do you that think was, that's gangs that do that? I thought it was, or I thought those were drug dealers, right? Drug dealers to the, no, I think that's nine-year-old kids. That, no, I thought it was like the marking, like you could buy drugs at the place with the shoes hanging. Is that wrong? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I could have sworn. All right. Well, what neighborhood did you grow up in? Uh, that's a really, really good one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Moving on to public menace, which this is you're gonna love this one. It's rack up forty seven thousand dollars in penalties during a single story case. <laughs> And I, I imagine you'll probably pick that one up pretty easy because I've seen you drive in video games. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not. I'm not too concerned about that one. That's like sounds like somebody's a renegade cop who breaks all the rules. <laughs> <laughs> You're just trying to parallel park, just smashing into cars yeah. back and forth. All right, and then we got two collectible ones. We have Star Map, which discover all landmark locations around the city, and Hollywood Land, which we've talked about before, which is find and inspect all gold film reels. And I believe this means I'm going to be working on a map for the next eight weeks I or so. I think probably so. Good God, but man, this game looks awesome, dude. There's some there's some like really fantastic actors in this game, and this is the first time I've ever spotted. Well, maybe not the first time, but you can really tell who the actor is portraying the characters. Like John Noble's in it, the guy right. from Fringe, and uh, in Return of the King. And man, that guy's awesome. I love him. But like the the main character is also someone relatively famous, right? You actually have a John Noble poster above your bed, right? I do. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> he's right next to my Tupac poster. <laughs> I like I kiss my hand and I I touch him at night. Then I go Respect. to bed. <laughs> Pouring out for the friends. All right, but uh, yeah. So this game is awesome. We're really really looking forward to getting into it and really diving in head first. Going crazy, checking out old Hollywood and uh, knocking some fedoras off some heads and firing some warning shots and stuff like that. But anyway, check back on Achievement Hunter. We're going to be doing a ton of videos in this game and most likely a really, really big damn map. So. Yeah, and uh, one last piece of information. If this is a game that you think you're going to want a thousand point, <laughs> you're going to be looking at a good 40 to 60 hours. Yeah, good luck so. on that one. It's going to be tough. but It'll be worth it, though. We'll be around helping you along the way. So thanks, and we'll see you next time. Video games.